Welcome back to Fast Market. Welcome back to the Schwab Network. Kevin Hinks and Joe Mazzola. Now it's time for our cash tag segment. And now I want to bring in the co-founder of Likefolio.com, Mr. Landon Swan to the show. Landon, we got a fast food theme today. You, thank you for covering all the stocks that we're looking at today in your data. Uh, we're focusing on Chipotle, McDonald's, and Starbucks. What do you have? Your data, it appears, really favors Chipotle, Landon. Yeah, it does. I mean, uh, when you look at the data, we've got, uh, you know, you got three different companies, and, and I tell you, it's kind of like Chipotle is doing really well, McDonald's is kind of in the middle, and Starbucks is, is actually quite lagging behind. Um, and, you know, to start, I'd like to talk a little bit about, I guess, the nature or the state of the industry. So on-premise dining is down about 14%, while off-premise dining is up 14%. So that's like fast food or delivery. Uh, and that's that's where these companies are, you know, should be in their wheelhouse. Um, so with rising grocery prices and a little bit of a return to work, it makes a lot of sense. Um, and so you can see where these kind of how, how well they're doing. If you take a look at Chipotle, um, if you look at their mentions, for example, uh, they're up about 26 percent on a year over year basis where McDonald's is completely flat. And then Starbucks really falling behind at about negative 18% on a year over year basis. Uh, so this is obviously, you know, as you said, it, it's a plus for Chipotle and uh, McDonald's just kind of hanging in there. But Starbucks is really uh, giving us a lot of concern. And when you look across these three companies, they're very similar in their most recent reports, um, all around about 12 to 14% increase in sales, um, around 40% uh, digital sales, so app or website, things like that. Uh, they're all focusing more on um, digital delivery, drive-through. Uh, they're focusing on automation and, and even getting into AI. Uh, so they're all going to become more efficient as we go. Uh, but food prices and the consumer spending, the consumer dollar just doesn't go as far. So it's, it's going to be interesting to see how all this shakes out. When you look at happiness, I think that's another really important one to look at. Uh, Chipotle, again, is leading the way at 64%. And actually, uh, surprisingly, we've got McDonald's beating Starbucks, which, you know, it, you, if you told me that a couple of years ago, I'd have been shocked. So McDonald's is 63%, not huge, but a four point still significant over Starbucks. So again, another concern here uh, for Starbucks and another kind of check mark for Chipotle doing really well. And if you look at the stock prices, it makes sense. I mean, Chipotle's outperformed the other two. Um, you know, they're all off around 15, 19% from their highs, uh, but from their lows, Chipotle is doing much better. It's up almost 40% from lows of the year, uh, whereas McDonald's is just barely off the lows. And Starbucks, again, about 13% off their lows. So you can see here that dimensions of Chipotle just continue to go up. Uh, the shares have been hit. Uh, as I said, they're, they're down about 15% from highs, but um, you know they're, they're doing much better than the other two. So you know, you got to if you got to pay up if you want the best. And so that's kind of where we're at right now. So for me, it's a question of, you know, I think Chipotle is the strongest moving forward. But valuation wise, you know, relative to what they've been trading at, McDonald's might be a little bit better play. Uh, but either way, I'm definitely avoiding uh, I'm definitely avoiding Starbucks They're They're on my no go list here. So it's just a question of uh, Chipotle versus McDonald's. Do you want the best and pay for it or do you want a, you know, uh, a rock solid performer over the years that's down a little bit, but still doing fairly well in McDonald's. So, um, you know, I'll leave that up to the viewer, but um, I'd say my main takeaway is avoid Starbucks right now. All right, so it sounds like you're not the only one avoiding Starbucks right now. Landon, let me just ask you this question kind of flat out. Like, what's Starbucks doing uh, that is, is is pushing away uh, the retail uh customer is it product selection because it seems like they've done a really nice job with the automation or or at least with the um uh, the, the platform the online platform uh and their digital platforms and, and they were one of the first to market for that but boy for some reason uh they're just not resonating with the consumer right now what in your mind is causing these issues you know i think a lot of it has to do with price and that you know they i've always thought that they had the most price resilient customers but i do think that's a potential problem for them um, and it, it just continues to go up and up and everybody's feeling it, but McDonald's is always going to be cheaper than Starbucks, right? And uh, Chipotle is probably always going to be cheaper on a, on a what you type, what you're buying type uh, of uh, comparison. So I think that's, that's really important. But, you know, as I talked about, I, I see the automation coming in and expenses are only going to go lower. Um, we've got, you know, they're, they're working on ways for robots to do all of the cooking. 
there are already ways to, to take orders through the, the touchpad. Uh, I, it will not be long, mark my words, maybe two or three years before we're going to have drive-through AI listening to you and taking your order, and it's not going to be a person then. There might be you know, one or two people in some of these McDonald's restaurants throughout the company, and the rest of it's run by robots uh, and AI. So it's going to be really interesting to see how that changes the landscape because you can't really do that in a sit-down restaurant. So fast food or fast casual is going to get way cheaper, I think, relative to the sit-down restaurants over the next few years. So so um, companies like McDonald's and Chipotle and Starbucks are poised to really do well and take advantage of this of this te technological innovation, whereas maybe some of their competition, the sit-down restaurants, just can't do it. Yeah, I guess people don't want a machine to make their pumpkin spice latte, Landon. But here's my question going I do. forward. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Here's my question, Landon. You know, some of the articles I read, especially about McDonald's, talks about the fact that they make now 62% of their income come from the franchises and not the not necessarily the food. Should they be looked in a different light from fast food? They're more of a real estate investment trust than they are actually a fast food company. Right, I know, and, and that's, that's the other thing that kind of makes me lean towards McDonald's as the value play here. I mean, uh, they, they are extremely, extremely resilient. I mean, they're gonna make it they're going to figure out a way uh, to make it, and they're very different, like you said. They've got the real estate play, and they're they're going to just continue to crank out uh, profits. So, I, you know, not that Chipotle isn't going to do that, but they don't have that real estate piece, like you talked about. So, McDonald's, I think, is the the safe play. Like, if you had to pick one to hold for 25 years, maybe McDonald's is the way to go. But if you're looking for just the best performer over the next two to three years, I might go with Chipotle. Yeah, and they, they, they just raised their quarterly dividend 10% as well. So this company continues to give money back to their shareholders. Landon Swan, great coverage of these fast food, fast food stocks today. We appreciate you coming on, as always, on a Jobs Friday. Have a great Friday, Landon. All right, Joe, it's just you and 